Now uh, we are going to take up an example using the methods of non-parametric tests. The chapter is not printed in your textbook. It is actually in the CD that came with your text and I have also posted a PowerPoint explanation of uh, the methods involved in this chapter. I'm going to show you an example that is uh, going to involve comparing two samples and using the Wilcoxon rank sum test. And before you, before you listen to this, it will be very helpful if you go ahead and look at the PowerPoint presentation that I have posted for you uh, in this uh, unit to see how this works because uh, uh, I'm just going to summarize the methods of calculation okay so in this example that I'm just uh, borrowing from the book we are going to focus on this exercise that is 26 point four six all right in the list of chapter 26 exercises and uh, you can go ahead and uh, and read the statement you have the book that is we are going to test the hypothesis that does uh, logging significantly reduce the number of species in a plot after eight years or in other words do we have uh, the do we have larger number of species in the unlogged area versus the logged ones okay so we shall now look at the way these calculations are done and i am going to go through a spreadsheet but you don't really have to use a spreadsheet you can just do all that by paper and pencil okay so let's go on to excel and see how this part is done so here are the data and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to look at rank of each of the item and uh, see whether the ranks in here are systematically higher than the ranks in the logged group okay so here you can see that i have arranged the entire data in order and uh, then I have mixed the two and I have uh, color coded these. This has rank of one, this is two, this is three. Now these are four, five, and six. So, and these are the same numbers. So what we do is we take the average of these three numbers and rank all of them as just five. And uh, let's do this. Let's keep the orange ones as orange okay and blue I'm not going to color because that will be easy to distinguish okay and in here both both of them are equal values I'm sorry there are actually four of these 8 9 10 11 and they have the same value so what uh, we shall do is this again take the average of these four numbers so 11 plus 9, is, sorry, 21 plus 9 is 30, and 30 plus 8 is 38. So what will we get? I think we are going to get averages 9.5 for each of them. So let's enter 9.5 for all of them. And uh, these two have to be we have to keep in mind which one is which okay now uh, let's go beyond s uh, and then s there is only 117 and that's orange so I left that as orange and here 13 14 15 the mean would be 14 so all three of them are the same and uh, then these belong to the logged group 16 and 17 those ranks are occupied by 19 and um, in both the places 16 and 17 what will be the the average 16.5 and 16.5 okay 
then we got uh, 20 with rank 18 21 is 19 and uh, then 20 and 21 both of them had 22 well they're in the same area but still uh, yeah let's go ahead and rank them as 20.5 and 20.5 you know such a you know such an averaging matters a lot when the same number is belonging to both the groups okay so now what we shall do let's just compute the let's just the compute the sum of the logged numbers so who are they you can see we have one two three and uh, then we have a seven right and then we got these three let me put that up here okay and uh, then uh, we got what we got 14 and 14 okay let's put that up here okay and then going further down that's it we have uh, all of them yes we do we have all nine of them and uh, um, let's go ahead and add them up okay and here so what's the rank sum of these uh, values in the logged group 72 okay so 72 is the rank sum for the sum for logged okay all right so let's just go from here now there are 21 observations total so what will be the sum the sum uh, will be the rank sums of all the observations that will be n times n plus 1 over 2 that's 231 so the rank sum for unlogged is uh, going to be what 231 minus the ones for logged right so that's the rank sum for unlocked right okay uh, let me just put un here so that will yeah that will save me some time save us some time actually so these are the rank sum for these which you sometimes you know you may call them as you know w1 or w2 in the language of our computation okay all right so let's go from here then we are going to look at the distribution of w1 and you can see the distribution of w1 has mean given by this and standard deviation given by this rule okay so let's go for our uh, computations okay and uh, so what we shall have for the mean i'm sorry here nine times uh, your capital N is the sum of those two the, so that will be 21 plus 1 that's 22 okay and uh, then divided by who 2 so your mean is how much 99 right okay so this is our mean then right okay and so we got our mean here okay and uh, then for the standard deviation what we are going to do is we are take, going to take the square root and uh, then we have uh, 9 times 12 times again 22 and then divided by 12 right okay so the standard deviation is 14.07 okay so here is our standard deviation 14.07 okay and there we are okay good now our w1 is uh, 72 so what will be the p-value the p-value will be the probability that the rank sum is going to be 72 or less in case there is no difference between the number of species between the two populations okay so let's see what the z value for this will be 
okay so if we compute the z value how shall we go we will have uh, um, 72 minus 99 divided by 14.07 let's keep it here so it's like negative uh, 1.92 and uh, so if we apply normal uh, if we apply the standard normal distribution here and which is uh, actually a good assumption if n1 and n2 are really large enough okay then let's see what we get so we have uh, this and we are in a standard normal so we don't have to enter the parameters here okay so this is 9 2 and oops what did I do bad okay let me just do once again okay all right oh I see we had to I forgot giving it the left bound right okay sorry about that again okay where did I go here negative okay and uh, then 10 to the power 99 okay and then we have negative again um, how much is that 1.92 uh, right okay all right okay so the p-value comes out to be 0 0.027 so it does look like that uh, the number of species is uh, reduced in the group where the areas were logged okay and uh, actually you know to, to do this in, in in real good sense we should be using a software okay and I'm going to just show you a demonstration of a software you don't have that software uh, that is statistical software called Minitab but you are not required to use that on the test okay and uh, by the way just one more thing here so first of all before we use software uh, for these hand calculations it's advised that uh, you should use a continuity correction because all our placings were whole number values okay and that is there in your in, in, the, in the chapter in your book I'm not going to go over the details of that uh, in this uh, in this demonstration okay you can just look it up okay all right so here what we did we rejected the null hypothesis at uh, uh, 0 0.05 level of significance right okay so after this I'm just going to show you how a software will give uh, a result including p-values to us for tests like these and which you will actually be using in your professional computations okay